How's it going guys? My name is Kraze and welcome back for another sandbox update video. It's been a few months since my latest update and yeah, we've got quite a bit to catch up on. If I sound a little more monotone than usual, it's because I'm just getting over a cold and yeah, sorry for that. If you'd like to track progress of Sandbox yourself, there's an official Discord channel where Sandbox developers share screenshots, videos, and also chat with the community. I'll leave a link to the channel in the description of this video. Okay, on to the updates. Back in July, we got to see some new videos showcasing some landscape features. Uh, this is kind of an expected feature. Of course, any modern game or engine is going to have landscaping, aka terrain. Uh, and it's nice to finally see Sandbox's terrain in action. We got a little glimpse of the editor's user interface, as well as some vehicle collision handling. The Sandbox team has also been hard at work developing a clean user interface for various modding features like object transforms and skeleton animations. They've shared a few screenshots and videos demonstrating quite a bit of functionality in their systems and the ability to customize, modify, and play around with assets. We've also seen some support for animated 2D textures. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of potential for fun and interesting 2D game modes. Uh, maybe people will even get creative, super creative, and somehow implement 2D stuff into their 3D game modes. Here's a clip that really caught my attention. It shows the ability to simply drag and drop assets from your Windows Explorer directly into the game window. This feature really demonstrates Sandbox's capabilities and sort of expresses how easy it's going to be to import assets, as opposed to Gary's mod where assets were required to be compiled into a very particular annoying format. You guys are probably wondering why I haven't uploaded lately. Well, I got a job that had me working 28 consecutive days, 12 hours a day. The money was obviously good and I used that money to move to a new city and a new apartment. Now that I'm settled down in my new apartment, I decided I don't need to work such an intense schedule anymore. So I told my manager I won't be working in the field anymore, and I offered him to work in the shop, which is close to home and only about eight hours a day. Uh, he didn't like that and I got fired. Uh, that's fine though, because I got a better paying job offer from a competitor company, and now I'm going through their hiring process, which is taking forever. But yeah, I'm gonna be working close to home here soon. I'm gonna be home every day and I'm going to have time for my personal projects such as this YouTube channel. There's definitely been a significant amount of development updates since my last video and I've got quite a bit of work to do for you guys. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who's pledged, subscribed, liked, and shown support in any other way. That's the end of this video, so thanks for watching guys and have a good day.